tailgating foods might taste good, they're not necessarily good for you. So Dr. Mandy Romero with SSM Health, our medical experts here to tell us how we can make our tailgating this year even a little healthier. It, it, it just seems like the, a, a defeatist effort right off the bat. It seems like a little bit of a paradox. Let's yeah. tailgate, let's make it fun, but let's also eat healthy. So the American Heart Association has come out and said, we know this is fall season, this is football season, that means tailgating season. That yeah. means free flowing beer and that means fried foods. So uh, I'm just here to remind people that the American Heart Association has said there are some healthier alternatives. Very simple, practical things we can do. So one thing we were joking about at the break was instead of using chips, maybe using vegetables as part of your dips, instead of using some high calorie dips using things like avocado, guacamole, salsa, maybe some bean baits dips. Okay. Um, other options are instead of frying the food, try grilling it. Uh, trying to keep your patty size to about the size of a card of decks. Uh, using things like vegetables uh, over the grill as opposed to maybe some other meat alternatives. And of course, even though we have the free flowing beer, to remember that the more we drink, the more our judgment is impaired. So that may make you eat more even though you're not super hungry. So trying to keep foods to really bite size and really only eat if you're hungry, not just because it's there and it smells so good. You are so <laughs> not the anti Santa Claus with that message. By the way. You, you, had, you had said you felt bad about sharing that. I mean, yeah. it's everything in moderation and kind of making choices. Smart exactly. Choices. Yeah. yeah. And speaking of healthy, not healthy, <clears throat> excuse me, the uh, FDA is coming out with some new food labels. What are your thoughts kind of guiding people through that? So this is great. You know, for the last 20 years, the FDA has not updated their guidelines. Wow. And think about how we update our wardrobe, how we update our iPhones or whatever. Yeah. So the fact that our food guidelines haven't been updated is pretty amazing. Our evolution of what we understand about nutrition has been updated. So 20 years ago, the FDA said, cut out all fats, right. don't eat fats. So things like avocados, things like nuts weren't on the good list. Right. And now we know more. So um, the average consumer makes a decision whether to pick something up at the, at the grocery store in about three to five seconds. Wow. So they really, we as consumers really need help. If something's labeled healthy, we're gonna go for it, or we think we're, we're doing ourselves a good thing. So the FDA is saying now, we have to determine if things are really healthy based off their good fat content, sugar content, cholesterol, sodium, and so forth. So look forward to some labels that are really helpful for us as consumers. Yeah, I think we're gonna hear a lot more about sugar too. We might yes. have to check back in with you. Good information. Yeah. Dr. Mara, thanks, appreciate your time this morning. Thank you.